Hello? Okay. Well, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two people managing two different AMCs, with two different products uh, joining on the show today, as I said. So that was Pratik Oswal with the Motilal Oswal Asset Allocation Passive Fund of Funds, the two offerings, aggressive and conservative. I'm guessing that there's no doubt to who the next offering that is from the Edelweiss table is aimed towards, but I'll let Gupta <laughs> come in and talk about that. They are going to launch the Edelweiss Nifty PSU Bond Plus SDL Index Fund 2026. That's a long name for a fund. Radhika, thanks so much for joining in. Tell us what is this offering about? Hi, Niraj. Good to be on your show and talk to you after a long time. I think the commonality I have with your previous guest is both of us are launching passive funds, so from different AMCs. So that's the commonality. Um, it's a long name, unfortunately, for a very simple product. But incidentally, this happens to be actually the first debt index fund to launch in India, which mm -hmm. is exciting. Um, I think, uh, and I'm just going to go back to a previous product line, which was Bharat Bond. The whole concept of debt passive products came in and target maturity funds came in. Target maturity products were ones where you had a defined time period, whether it was three years, five years, etc. And you just held a buy and hold strategy. It worked really well for the investor because they knew the portfolio, they knew the indicative yield. And even in this, by the way, yield rally, none of them kind of worry. Now, that was a PSU segment product. We decided why don't we expand the basket and make it a 50% PSU and 50% state development loan basket product. So it's a very simple product. It takes off from the success of that, but makes the portfolio 50-50. And I think the reason to do SDL at this point is SDL is state development loans. Just like the government of India has borrowings, which we know as GSEC, SDL is the borrowing of good quality states. It's also sovereign rated. And usually SDLs, Neeraj, they trade above government yields or below PSUs because it is sovereign rating. Today, because of the circumstances around us and the borrowing, SDLs are actually trading at higher yields than PSUs. So for the investor, there's a very good risk adjusted pro uh, you know, return ahead where you're getting better yields than a pure PSU product, but at actually a very, very good credit risk profile. So that was the idea. And this is a 2026 product. And it comes at a time when actually yields have been elevated. So investors are coming in at a very good time. So are you saying, Radhika, that tactically as well, uh, because of the rates at which you mentioned SDLs are debt trading, tactically it actually offers a good time i mean this is probably a good time maybe some other time it may not have looked as attractive yeah and if you look at the charts and there's some interesting stuff in our presentation so it's always been our products have always been hold to maturity products but tactically yes it is a better launch time if you look at maybe 12 months ago sdl yields were below psu yields right now they're elevated so for the end investor there's a absolute level of yield that looks good plus sdl relative to other things also looks good okay and 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 radhika i just trying to get the construct of the fund you you uh, a lot of people read stories right about how some of the states have really precarious financial situation so yeah. could there be a concern and could that concern be valid that what if uh, it invests in an instrument which may or may not be from a state uh, which is not going to the best of finances and can that endanger the investment? Uh, can you talk a bit about that? Sure. And so the construct of the fund is a thoughtful. So it's a 50-50 and it's equal weighted is the index. So you have a pretty wide basket. I mean, the index actually has 21 securities between PSU and SDL. And that's why we kept 50% SDL. We are also, because it's an index, the methodology is such that you're going to keep the best quality and most liquid SDLs out there. So people should know about that. The other thing people should know is that SDL carries a sovereign rating. So while states may have their issues and state borrowings are higher, this is a sovereign rating product. Okay. Um, so you made a valid point, Radhika, that yields have spiked up and therefore there is um, uh, that advantage that is there. Uh, there is also this concern and I want to understand how do you guys think about it, that there is a concern that yields may actually shoot up even more in, in the days, weeks, months to come. And could that cause volatility slash MTM losses for people who, who invest in this product because they believe in it? Sure, they are long-term investors, but could the near term be a bit rough? 
I think it's a great question, Neeraj. I think one is that you don't know whether yields will go up or down. I mean, these things are important. Nobody could have predicted what happened in February. Um, we do two things. Yes, one, there will be short-term volatility in yields in all target maturity funds. We've seen that in our previous line of, I mean, we've seen Bharat Bond products go below the 1000 NAV and sit at 990. Your investor has to know that he's coming in for a hold to maturity period. However, we did do one interesting scenario analysis that let's say you wanted to invest for a three year period. This is a five year fund, but suppose you wanted to get out over three years and yields rose a percent. I mean, because you don't know over three years, people say yields will fall, yields will rise. Nobody knows. Say yields rose a percent. Instead of getting the index yield of about 6.3, you'll probably get something closer to 6.1 because you will accrue the interest, but you'll have a little negative MTM hit. That 6.1 is still better than investing in a three-year product today. So that's why we tell investors that even if you're coming for a five-year product, if you have a three-year horizon, your risk reward is not bad. Okay. Okay. And I think there is... Um this because there's this table that is there in the Edelweiss presentation which speaks about this uh, benefits of indexation as well. I think uh, Pratik Osol was speaking about indexation. A lot of you who might not be completely aware is this wonderful illustration uh, which probably will come up on your screen as well which just shows how because of the benefits of indexation and in this case even differential tax uh, amount uh, or taxable treatment as well, tax and cost the quantum of returns vary quite significantly. Radhika, did I get the number correct that via this one uh, over a period, the returns could be as high as 5.97 versus in a traditional investment, say like a fixed deposit uh, or a savings deposit, it could be sub four. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So, you know, indexation in a cinch is basically the returns over inflation is what get taxed, what gets taxed. The presentation assumes inflation of four, which is actually super conservative. So you pay tax on the 2% incremental return. And yes, you land up at a post-tax number of 5.9 odd versus a traditional instrument of sub four. It also Neeraj is because this is a passive product compared to active funds. This is very, very competitively costed. So even the total expense ratio, and we are very cognizant as a house that in a low interest rate environment, you can't have large TERs eating into end customer returns. So I think the taxation profile and the uh, TER profile also help that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Radhika, the other question is uh, uh, that the Bharat Bond ETF, right, when launched and even otherwise, uh, it, it got some rave reviews and and rightly so, right? It was uh, it was a beginning of a culture of sorts, right? And so to say, and it's an effective product. So my question is, somebody would think that why is it that when a Bharat Bond ETF is existing, it gives me the five year option for exit as well, which is the, that I'm there for five years, which is a long enough period, and it's giving me near about equal returns. Why should I bother with another product? Oh, so you're asking me to compare two children of mine. Um, but I think, you know, if you uh, look at the vision for the Bharat Bond program, it was to kind of kick off a movement of debt index funds and ETF products, and not just Edelweiss and AMC, and we happen to be leaders in this space. There are more people coming out with target majority funds. So I think one, that that is fantastic. You know, you're moving from F FMPs and, you know, not transparent roll down structures to clear transparent communication of when things are maturing and what the portfolio is, which is so necessary in the debt market. So the more of these, quite frankly, the better. Uh, in comparison to Bharat Pond, as I said, that was a pure PSU product. Uh, this is an SDL product. The similarest product you have in the market in Bharat Pond series is 2025. That's actually a four year product now. And that's pure PSU. This is five years. The yields will be higher because it has the SDL element. So it's got one year more and the yields are higher. And our endeavor is just like you have a Bharat bond range, as you said, of four products and more will come out in that program. You will have a PSU SDL range of a range of products. And who knows, maybe you'll do pure SDL. Maybe you'll do corporate bonds, AAA corporate bonds. So we want to open the market, uh, you know, to as many consumers as we can. And the Bharat Bond program is 30,000 crores in a year. And I hope this program goes grows just as well. So you're effectively saying, Radhika, that uh, it's 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 almost uh, two, two, two products with a very, very similar nature, just that because of the tactical part of SDLs trading at a certain level, the returns might be slightly higher than what Bharat Bond will be. About 20 basis points higher, net. Okay. Any other, any other uh, 
not concerns really, but any other points or or maybe concerns that somebody who's putting in money in this product should be aware of. Africa. I think the very important thing for debt investors is do remember these are not short term products and there will be fluctuations in the yield um, and you can't panic. I've I've always said this many times in your show, Neeraj, that we don't react to fixed income fluctuations as well as we do to equity fluctuations. When there's a twenty percent cut in small cap, you know nobody comes and gives me a call. But uh, you know when yields move a little one percent in debt. Suddenly, you you know you take the fixed and fixed income very seriously. So I think that's very very important. As long as you're coming in with a three to five year kind of goal, because it's a five year maturity, and we've shown you the three year math, I don't think you need to worry. But realize that that three year journey also is not going to be smooth, smooth, smooth in the sense. So that if you can keep in mind and just hold on, and that's what we've seen in Bharat Bond. We don't see too many complaints. when people come as long as you invest with the right expectations i don't think you have a bad experience right well um, i think it opens on the 10th and shuts on the 16th if i'm not wrong radhika yeah it opens on the 10th and it shuts on the 16th and it is slightly structurally different from bharat bond that was an etf um this is uh, and it had a fund of funds this is an index fund i think one of the things we found niraj in the bharat bond experience was that um you know the fund of fund vehicle became very popular it went from 1000 crores to 6000 crores this year a lot of retail investors like the format of not having a demat account and yeah. like a mutual fund doing an sip into funds like this so it met a lot of those goals so hence we thought we would bring the index fund format we've done that with some of our other equity funds also so we said the index fund format is a very retail friendly format and that's a pertinent point great Pratika um really good of you to join us today and explain this all the best with the NFO and thanks so much for taking the time out today thanks always a pleasure talking to you likewise and have viewers i hope you benefited from this conversation thanks for tuning into the mutual function